Hi, and welcome to Bruce's All Research Channel. I've been doing this. This is going to be my fifth year this year doing this research. Here's Crawlface's favorite, one of them. <laughs> also one of mine. Again, we're going to go see. Here's an object just before I caught that object beside the sun. Sun, sun, sun today. We're talking about coronal mass ejections. We're going to see some of mine, some of NASA's. We're going to look at... Uh, a quick example or two, but in general, we're going to see a lot of objects that I've been capturing around the sun, and this is day eight of snow over here, so good thing I got a lot of research to work on. We've got plenty more where that come from, and here's another angle. Um, I just want to take a look, um, and we're going to slow it down as much as we can. We're already at pretty much the limit, but look at the object going by the sun, Holy smokes, isn't that incredible to be able to see its shape and form? I'm up to about five or six objects I was able to capture beside the sun. Um, in general, uh, the the ratio would be about one a year when you think of it, because I got about five incredible objects on the sun that we could actually see their shapes and sizes and forms of it. Oomuamua. Really does look like it, but it sure ain't spiraling like it. Watch the craft turn on its lights. <laughs> Who knows? Forward and backwards, the incredible thing is that you see that it's not something going by the screen. It's not a smudge. You could see it rotating around the top of the sun. Now, how close is it to the sun? Well, that we'll never know because, well, we can get an idea of it. But think of it, the size of it, ladies and gents. This is far bigger than Earth because Earth, if I was, um, you know, seeing Earth go by the sun... And it was at the same distance as I am now. I would not recognize Earth, that's for sure. It'd be pretty hard to see. It would be a lot smaller than, it'd probably be as small as this object right here, I would say. Earth beside the sun is reasonable to say. Here, in black and white, we're looking at an object spiraling either. Now, here's the thing. Suns can also spit out mass, right? And sometimes... I wonder if that's not what we're seeing because we're seeing an object either skim the sun, literally skim the sun, but yet it didn't burn out, which surprises me. Don't forget, not many objects make it by the sun. Once they start getting close to the sun and they're pulled in, it, like ice, comet, asteroids, and stuff like that, unless they're metal, right? They're not going to remain um, intact. They're going to explode. They're going to disintegrate, whatever. So what we know so far, the sun is uh, very active and it's going to be active from now till 2025. Here's um, my footage again of the sun with the telescope, of course, and we can see um, on the sun, a 70 inch telescope, by the way, uh, sorry, <laughs> 70 millimeter Astromaster telescope at the moment with this one, which is a cheapy and a very good telescope. I like Celestron. And there's objects going towards the sun. So obviously fireballs and stuff, uh, mass ejecta is lifting up and it's coming back down. But there are also objects that are attracted to the sun, right? Much like a moth is attracted to a light. But seriously, we see objects like flying right into the sun. Look at this object. We're gonna see a couple objects in this video that I've captured over the years. And listen, these are recent, my friends. This is less than 700 days ago, right? So it's all objects have been ca captured the past two years and we'll see more recently also. So there's a big object, not so elongated, more roundish. 300 kilometers in diameter is what they say becomes a planet, is considered a planet in science. There's a theory about it. Um, look at these flashes. Geomagnetic storms, coronal mass ejections, CMEs, they're dangerous. And when they explode, we're talking about 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to show you an example also, a live example um, of uh, coronal mass ejection. And this is Venus, by the way. Look it up. Venus has had many problems with the sun. It destroyed its atmosphere. That's why Venus is the way it is. Look it up. Here, these flashes that are occurring are because of uh, coronal mass ejections, possibly. Here's one leaving the sun. So it's one of two things, right? I love the spaceship scenario. Uh, 
I'm serious. It looks like a Star Trek. Star Trek. Um, a Star Trek, yes. Star Trek ship coming out of the sun. But in reality, yeah, it's um, a filament, right? The side of the sun literally comes right off a chunk. You have any idea how large that is? It's pretty large. You know, many years ago, actually, um, at least a couple, Harvard scientists had begun an experiment to block out the sun. I don't know if you've all have heard of that. Many are saying that Bill Gates was talking about blocking out the sun's rays. And uh, real quickly, why? Well, obviously, um, like, for example, during a volcano with a lot of ash, at one point it had blocked the sun um, completely for a long time over Earth. And what it did is it cooled down the Earth over one degree, if I'm not mistaken. Don't depend on how hot I I say it got, but this is very serious. A group of Harvard scientists um, had planned to tackle climate change. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, and that's why we're seeing the geoengineering guys through exactly what I just said, geoengineering, by blocking out the sun. The concept, artificially reflecting sunlight, has been around for decades. Yet, this will be the first real attempt at controlling Earth's temperatures through solar engineering. The project called Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, a steerable balloon in the southwest as 20 kilometers into the stratosphere. Once the balloon is in place, it will release small particles of calcium carbonate. Plans are in place to begin the launch as early as spring 2019 right before the pandemic, right? If you don't know what a CME is, coronal mass ejection, they talked about geometric storms uh, in the news very recently, and it's very dangerous, and it's not a wonder why, I, it's, that's just me, but sometimes I say they ask us to wear masks. You know, all this stuff going on, you wonder what the heck's going on. What is the danger of a solar storm in space? It's very high energy particles. Remember the video I showed you in infrared where you could see the particles going by in the sky with the infrared camera? It's a couple of weeks ago that I posted it. At, well, listen to this. Um, yeah, high, very high energy particles such as those carried by CMEs, coronal mass ejections. They can cause radiation poisoning to humans and other mammals. So... We have seen some animals die off recently. Don't wonder why. I believe it's the sun. So I got this video taken down because I had a clip that was from Monsieur NASA that I wasn't able to put up. Really sucks, eh? Not being able to put up certain images of NASA and certain images that I can. Um, the indications are really badly done, trust me, because I don't post other people's work when I can't. I'm not permitted. Aliens and UFOs, human or not, here they are on the moon arriving. Mark my words, the sun is probably the cause of all the objects in the past couple of years that have come into the solar system, all the reasons for seeing the UFOs that are probably here to help us for some reason or because obviously they want to protect Earth from the solar geometric storms that are coming. Maybe it's going to attract a larger asteroid. All the flashes, Venus flashes in space that we're seeing, it's because of that, because of the sun. The sun is going to be very, very active. So all the objects get pulled towards the sun, and that's what happens, right? So they're going to do some spraying, probably, like Bill Gates talks about the sun's rays, which was talked about many years ago. That's probably what they're going to be doing and probably what they've been doing for the past few years. Eh? The fish, everything, the animals that are dying off, the fires, tornadoes, volcanoes now, really could be because of the sun. I'm almost, I'm almost sure. If it wasn't for my amazing community, this channel wouldn't even exist. Thanks a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. Slow disclosure is in progress. More information will be coming. A lot more.
Houston, say again, please. <laughs>